Good afternoon. We have a mostly sunny and warm day on the way. A high around 90 in Sioux Falls, 86 in Aberdeen, 92 in Pier, and 86 in Rapid City with a chance for afternoon rain and thunderstorms. Better chance overnight with a low around 64 in Sioux Falls, 61 in Aberdeen, 64 in Pier, and 60 in Rapid City. We'll take a closer look at the incoming storms in just a little bit as we begin midday in Kelloland. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Midday in Kelloland. A Sioux Falls woman is participating in a unique clinical trial. Details ahead. Plus. President Biden visits NATO's newest member country. I'm Natalie Brand with details about his trip to Finland and the message the military alliance wants to send. Good afternoon and thanks for having us in. New this midday, Mitchell Legion Baseball's 2023 season is officially over. The NBA president, Jason Christensen, tells Kelland News that due to, quote, information provided by investigating authorities to the Mitchell Baseball Association, the board has reconsidered its decision to reinstate the Legion Baseball season. South Dakota's Division of Criminal Investigation is looking into complaints concerning Mitchell Legion Baseball, according to a statement released from State Attorney General Marty Jackley. After being asked if he could elaborate on the complaints, Christensen said that they have no further comments because of, quote, the pending investigation and involvement of juveniles. Two Union County deputies made a shocking discovery after a normal traffic stop. Just after 2 p.m. on July 8th, officers conducted a traffic stop for suspicion of driving under the influence. After further investigation, a 14-year-old was found sleeping in the back seat. This person was revealed to be a missing person from St. Louis, Missouri. Reports say the 33-year-old male and 29-year-old female had driven 18 hours to St. Louis, Missouri to pick up the missing teen and were taking the juvenile back to Montana. The male driver and female passenger were subsequently arrested for contributing to the abuse and neglect of a minor, DUI, possession, and more. Missouri Department of Social Services is in the process of picking up the youth and bringing him back to Missouri. This investigation is ongoing. Tonight, we're going to introduce you to Nancy Arneson of Sioux Falls, who is the first person in the country to participate in a new clinical trial. When we met her, she shared with us that she's hopeful to tackle items on her bucket list. I want to go to the Omaha Zoo. Okay. They say that's a two-day event. Um, I want to go to Florida and see my friend. And then um, we wanted to take a three-day cruise. I'll have much more for you from Nancy in tonight's Eye on Kelland at 10. Turning to weather, looks like we have a pretty nice weekend on the horizon, Megan. I would say almost perfect, Dan. Mostly sunny skies. Highs will be in the 80s for the weekend. But we have to go through a chance of thunderstorms first to get there. Right now, 83 in Sioux Falls with sunshine. Just a light breeze at about 7 miles an hour. If we head around our region, Yankton at 82, few clouds filtering that sunshine. Southwest winds are at about 11 miles an hour. Here's a look at some of our other temperatures. Right now, 80 in Aberdeen, 87 in Pier, 82 in Rapid City, and 77 degrees in Custer. We have a few thicker clouds in western South Dakota, but in eastern Kelloland, mostly sunny skies. Under those thicker clouds, we do have a few light rain or thunder showers coming up on Kelloland Live Doppler radar. Here's a closer look between Phillip and Kadoka, and down near Mission is another thunder shower this afternoon. For today, with those mostly sunny skies, highs near 90 in Sioux Falls, 86 in Aberdeen, 92 in Pier, and 86 in Rapid City, with a chance for afternoon rain or thunderstorms. With that chance does come a risk for severe weather, mainly this evening into the overnight hours. Marginal risk in green, a slight risk in yellow. The main threats are going to be large hail and strong winds if you are under or near a thunderstorm. So for tonight, other than that, partly cloudy skies, 64 in Sioux Falls, 61 in Aberdeen, 64 in Pier, and 60 in Rapid City. Then for your day tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. We could see a few morning thunder showers in Sioux Falls, a high near 87, 83 in Aberdeen, 87 in Pier, and a breezy 83 in Rapid City. 
Here's a sneak peek at Saturday. Mostly sunny skies with highs in the 80s. And Sunday looks to be almost identical. We'll take a closer look in just a little bit. Thank you, Megan. A tornado was spotted near Chicago's O'Hare International Airport last night. Hundreds of flights were disrupted, but there were no immediate reports of injuries. The National Weather Service issued two tornado warnings for parts of Chicago. The storm comes as large parts of the country, especially Arizona and California, are dealing with a potentially dangerous heat wave. No fingerprints or DNA turned up on the baggie of cocaine found in the West Wing lobby last week. Despite a sophisticated FBI crime lab analysis and surveillance footage, the area didn't identify a suspect. That's according to summary of the Secret Service investigation. There are no leads on who brought the drugs into the White House. U.S. Secret Service agents found the white powder during a routine White House sweep on July 2nd in the heavily trafficked West Wing lobby where staff go in and out and tour groups gather to drop their phones and other belongings. President Joe Biden is wrapping up his European trip with a meeting of U.S. and Nordic allies. The threat from Russia, as well as the war in Ukraine, was front and center in the discussions. Natalie Brand has details from the White House. President Biden visiting NATO's newest member, Finland, talked about the military alliance's unwavering support for Ukraine in its defense against Russia. Our allies and partners around the world understand that this fight is not only a fight for the future of Ukraine, it's about sovereignty, security, and freedom itself. The president is meeting Thursday with Nordic leaders, including the prime minister of Sweden, which is also in the process of joining NATO. It just makes the world safer. It significantly increases the prospect that there is less likely to be war. This week, President Biden and allies made clear that Ukraine has a pathway to NATO membership once the war is over. No one can join NATO while a war, a war is going on, where a NATO nation is being attacked, because that guarantees that we're in a war, and we're in a third world war. In the meantime, the U.S. has promised a long-term security commitment. Ukraine's president emphasized the continued need. You have to know that you spend this money for, for not, not just for fighting. You spend this money for our lives. This comes as the U.S. House has begun debating a defense authorization bill with some far-right Republicans wanting to cut spending on Ukraine. But that amendment is not expected to pass. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Defense spending bills typically pass with bipartisan support. This year's bill is expected to do the same, but Democrats say they are closely monitoring the amendments proposed by some Republicans on everything ranging from abortion to guns and border policy.